This cuff is so well, I didn't even glue it down, like as you can see, I haven't even sewn a band or combs on this cuff, but it really fits so well. Hi guys, thank you so much for clicking and welcome back to my channel, if you're new, welcome. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make this wig. If you find this video helpful, remember to give it a thumbs up, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. So this is the cuff that we're going to use, it's a 360 less cuff. So let's just mark where you're going to, to stitch our breath. Yeah. Then I'm just going to follow this line, the shape of my hairline. But you be there, ready to rescue me if I go out of track. Let me use the mirror. Cause you make me love my imperfections. Okay, so once you've marked like around the cup, the middle part of the cup, remember to mark here the middle where they're going to meet, right here, because it's also going to guide you. These are the braids that I'm going to use. They are small. There's a tutorial I shared with you on how to make these braids, but I'm thinking of sharing another one because for the previous video, the braids were big and heavy, but these ones are very light and small. So I'll share a tutorial with you on how to make these braids. The next step you're going to do is pin down the braids and just sew them on the cap. I got enough of every melody. They all sound the same. Yeah. For my bro. When you're pinning down the braids, just make sure you follow the line that you've drawn earlier because that is the shape of your hairline. And then the next step, I sew one braid in the middle of the cup, the part that I'd marked, so that it guides me on how to sew these other braids. You also need a needle and thread. I always prefer cup needle because it's easier to use. What's on the other side of inhibition? Insert the needle in the cup and then pull the thread through the braid and then just repeat the same same process. So you don't have to sit like up to the middle part of the cup, just stitch like some 4 inches from the tip of the braid. So guys, if there's any wig that you want me to make a different style, just DM me on Instagram and a pic of the wig that you want me to make and I will make it for you. So this is another trick that you're supposed to know if you just want to quicken up the process after you pin them down uh, hold them in a ponytail like this and then stitch them together and then now start stitching one by one on the cap but then you don't have to stitch like so many of them stitch like just six or seven together because if if you stitch like so many of them together they can be squeezed and the wig won't look that good I got enough of every man so 
as you can see the hairline looks so natural because i followed the mark like this is the shape of my hairline so just make sure you follow the line that you'd marked earlier and then when you're sewing just avoid this band don't stitch this band it will make the cap smaller so just avoid it At the back, I advise to pin this braids like slightly under the line that you'd marked earlier, so that just in case your cornrows, the lines that you do on your own hair are big, the wig can still fit. You can wear this wig like this without adding the baby hair because the hairline looks perfect and natural but in today's wig I wanted to add some baby hair. You can get this crochet stick from Aliexpress or you can get them from Shana Hair Kenya. I'm going to use this small one to make the baby hair. Mm. So guys this is our hair and as you can see it's very neat very neat i decided to do the baby hairs in front and at the back i didn't do them on the sides because i feel like it's okay just like that and then i'll stitch an elastic band or either combs either an elastic band or combs i won't like um, stitch both of them and then it has this adjustable strap which makes it just secure as well so let's try it on the other thing guys my hair is not that flat and neat so i'm not even sure if it will fit well but let's just try and see it fits so well it's so perfect so guys i think this so well it's so perfect it fits around the hairline And then at the back, I'm not even sure if need to fix because my hair is lifted.
I cut the lace and now I'm applying concealer just to make it blend with my complexion. The only thing I've done on this here is cut the lace and then I applied foundation as you can see it blends so well with my complexion and then I applied gel on the baby hair. Though the baby hair is not that perfect but I'll just work with this for now and then I've not even sewn like combs or a bun on it and I've also not used glue like this is just it the cap and the adjustable strap that, that came with the cap. We can get away with it Cause you make me love my imperfections Answer all my questions just to show at the back the wig was kind of lifted because the corals that i have on my natural hair they're slightly big at the back maybe if i could have applied glue on this wig it could be flatter if you want it to be flat just make sure your corals like your braids that are inside make sure they are very small so that it fits the cuff fits so well on your head and on the sides i have to glue it down you can glue it down or you can just make baby hairs on the sides as well for this wig i used five braids on my previous one on my previous video i used six this one i used five with this wig i used more hours compared to the other wig yeah, this one took me longer time to make. Yeah. Guys, if you have any braided wig style that you want me to make, and uh, just DM me on Instagram and send me a pic of it, and I will make it for you. So, if the extensions are longer, the better because they can cover this part right here. If you don't want someone to see the back of the cap, if the braids are longer, the better. Stay. We can get away with it Cause you make me love my imperfections Answer all my questions Just to show me What's on the other side of inhibition No apologies, my baby I tell you do cause I'm feeling so good That was it for today guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a thumbs up, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. See you in my next video. Bye!